Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics School channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with this error message that comes up. Command not found. Alright, so this can come up if you are performing some tasks on a Linux system. Alright, so this is a typical example. Alright, so I'm trying to execute a command and I'm told command this one is so not found. Now, this can happen due to two main reasons there could be other reasons but these two i'm going to mention are the main ones the first reason is that if you are trying to execute a batch command all right then it's possible that the command does not exist the command is not a valid one it's not a valid batch command or it's not a valid linux command and so in that situation you have to specify the right command the second reason is that if let's say it's a program you are trying to execute then it's possible that the program cannot be found by bash okay so in that case you have to do some um, settings you have to configure a system so that bash can see the program and execute it now we are going to look at these two scenarios and i'm going to explain to you how to resolve them so let's start with the first one all right so the first one is where you are trying to enter a batch command and then you get this message command on found so that means you have to specify the correct command so let's look at what i did here this is eecho okay i'm trying to execute this command echo echo but this is what i did since this is not a valid batch command i have this message here all right let me just type again eecho like this all right so the command cannot be found and so what i have to do is to specify the correct command and that is echo like this or i can also ask something so i can say echo bring my double quotes and i'll say hello walk all right then i need to be displayed for me like this so this is the first scenario all right first scenario where we specify the correct or the right bash command now let's clear the screen. Let's just do a quick game. I think I'll just recall it here like this. That's fine. Okay. Now let's look at the second scenario. Second scenario is where you have a program that you want to run. And then what happens is that bash tells you command not found. Even though the program or script is on your PC, it's in the system. So in that situation, that's what happens. Now let's try to simulate this. Let's create a simple bash script and then use that. All right. So I'll do this. I'm going to first create a directory. I'll say make the example. And I'm going to cd into it. All right. And then I'm going to create a simple command. All right. So I'll say nano my prop. I'm using nano as a test editor but you can use any other test editor being i or any test editor that's fine but i prefer to use nano because it's simple and straightforward so i'm going to open this file and i'm going to put in this one shebang line and the next line i'll say echo hello world i will exit and then save changes all right so this is a simple program that will display the text hello world that's what we've done here. Okay, so what you can do is to use this approach to run the code or the scripts. So you can say bash my proc. This will execute it for me. Of course, if I do an ls, the program is there. All right, I should have done that first. So I'll just say bash my proc. That's one can be executed. But now if I say my proc. And this is where the issue comes in even though the file is there all right you have this coming up but ideally we should be able to call the program by its name my pro all right so you have to do some additional configurations so that bash can see this file or scripts and then execute it for you so we are going to resolve that now and so if you have an issue like this then the first thing you have to do of course is to make sure you know where the file is okay if you are in linux you can issue this command rare path okay like this, this command will let you know the path 
of course now it is specify the path so you can say real path and add my prop to it that will give you the parts okay we will come back to this now let's proceed now let's do this we know the parts okay so what we'll do next is to add execution rights all right we have to add execution rights to that file if i do an ls the file is there all right so what i can do is to say ch mode plus x and i'll say my pro right so that's it then okay i repeat that is done so what i can do next is to now test okay of course bash my prog works let me just cut the screen let's do it again this works the other approach will be to say dot slash my prog that will also work and then the other approach is where you get a path let me just do it again real path my prog the other option is to now say use this entire path if let's say you are in a different directory, you can use this entire path like this. Okay, and then execute it. That will also work. All right. So all these things will work. Now the problem comes if you are in a different directory and you are still trying to use just a name like this. And that is where we are coming. So this is the final stage of rectifying that issue. So first of all, you need to take note of the path, the directory which has the program. All right so in this case the program okay the program we wrote this is the entire part including this name so what you need is the directory which has that program okay so if you know the directory like in this case this is it this is the four parts of the directory there's the directory we are in and this is where the file can be found and so we can just do pwd to see the directory and that is it and we will take note of this directory all right so we will copy it okay so now let's cd back to the previous directory let's do an ls we should see our directory the one which has the program i'll do an ls again into it all right and now that's what we'll do we are going to issue this command export all right i don't mind if i still say my proc there will still be an issue but I will say export and I'll say path equals I'll say the wrap path. I bring a colon and I'll paste the path to the directory which has the program like this. Now here you can also bring it first that's preprint, but now we are appending. But anyway, this one will work also. Alright. So let's execute this command. Let's execute it. It has been done so now if i say my prog my prog i should see it executed for me okay so if you have followed all the steps then you are going to see this coming up that means that the program has been executed successfully all right now this command works but then if you open a new terminal let's do that i'm opening a new terminal okay and i say my prog we are going to get back to square one. We are going to get back to where it says command or found. And so what we need to do is to make this change persistent. This change here, the export persistent. And so to do that, you will just you will just make a copy of it because this is the working, the working command at work. And then on the other terminal, all right. Our first CD my home directory and i will first do this i'll edit the bash rc file dot bash rc file but i'll make a copy of it first as a backup i'll say cp dot bash rc i'll say bash rc dot back okay there's a backup okay we are going to edit and place this information the one we copy this export command into this file but we need to make a copy so that we can always reverse it if something unnecessary happens. Okay, if an unwanted change happens, that's why I'm just making a copy. So now I'm going to edit this out here, nano dot bash rc. And then you have this camera and you can scroll down to the bottom. 
in the bottom yeah like this and then paste the export command there like this then you paste it there then you can exit and then save changes that has been done All right after that this is what you can do you can issue this command you can say source dot bash rc okay and then once you issue it if nothing happens then that means that everything is fine so you can just call my proc and they say i'm going to be executed however if this one does not work what you have to do is to open another terminal so let's open another terminal now all right so i have opened another terminal now and so once it's done i can just see my proc and then to be executed for me successfully all right so this is how we resolve the issue command not found in bash